So here's an update. I am in a motel room in South Lake Tahoe in a, a motel called the Pinewood Inn, which doesn't get very good reviews on Google, but it's actually not a bad place. And it was pretty cheap. It was like only $10 more than the campsite that we stayed at last week. Um, but anyways, um, as I said in my previous video where I was hiking along, I am sick. I don't know what it is exactly. And I'm having trouble getting my insurance accepted at, at uh, any clinics or hospitals here. I have travel medical emergency insurance. It's just uh, the, 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 the insurance company said that the only place where they will accept and directly bill the insurance company is a medical center in uh, Carson Valley, Carson Valley Medical Center, which is a 45 minute drive away from here. Um, and so I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do yet. I, I have hopes that I'm going to get better really fast. Um, I feel better today than I did yesterday. Uh, and this tomorrow will be my third day isolated in my hotel room. I, I did get a COVID test from the pharmacy here in, in South Lake Tahoe and it, it comes in a two pack and you take one and then you take another one two days later. My first test result was negative. So I don't think it's COVID. It's one of two things. I think I I either have some type of bad chest cold, like pneumonia or something. Um, I've had pneumonia before. It sort of feels like that. Uh, or, or it could be, and I don't know, but I, a couple days ago, inhaled a large mouthful of DEET. Uh, and almost immediately after that, I started coughing and having chest pain and stuff like that. So and I was talking to Mike about it. Mike's a nurse and he, so he has a greater uh, wealth of knowledge in the medical area than I do. And he said that it could be something called um, chemical pneumonitis or something like that. Basically it's pneumonia that's brought on by uh, inhaling uh, a chemical or some type of irritant that starts to uh, inflame the tissues of your lungs. I don't know though, because I'm also very, very tired and sluggish and weak. So it, it seems more like pneumonia, like, like uh, traditional pneumonia. But uh, in any case, I am at this motel now. Tomorrow will be the third day here. And my awesome trail family has stayed with me, which, you know, it's not cheap for them to do to stay at a motel with me. And they have been bringing me food and drinks and checking up on me and making sure that I'm okay <coughs> and that I have what I need. And they're not rushing me back off into the trail, which is great. You know, I feel really blessed to have them, Jen and Mike and uh, Vince, who went home today, unfortunately. Uh, anyway, so here I am sick, waiting to get better. I'm already falling behind on the trail to the point where I'm worried about making it back to Canada on time. So this is just a real downer. This is a wrench in the works. Uh, but I have tonight to sleep. Hopefully tonight I will sleep better than last night because last night was brutal. I was nearly delirious. And um, uh, tomorrow night, last night here in the motel, hoping that the rest for the next like 36 hours will really help me heal up. I'll take my second COVID test tomorrow at four in the afternoon and see how that goes. And, uh, well, I just hope I get, I hope I get better enough to get back on the trail soon. And for my other, my trail family to get back on the trail soon too. Uh, that's it. That's my update. I mean, fortunately I have a decent motel room to stay in. It's clean. It's quiet mostly. And, uh, I have a shower, which I've been spending tons of time in with lots of steam. And, um, and I've got good friends who are looking out for me.